Have you ever wondered, why is this place like it is? Our second essay is our profile essay. In this one, we're gonna do something you probably haven't done before, and that's analyze a specific place. The next essay is the profile essay. Now we're not gonna do this kind of profile. Instead, we're going to review and analyze a specific physical place as used by a specific group of people. Now, most people, when they think of analyzing, particularly in college, we tend to do documents, historical documents, laws, novels, books, those kinds of things. But most things can be analyzed because there's meaning at work in most things. Places is just one that most people don't think about analyzing a place as a subject, but it's a perfectly good and valid subject. Take this one example. The Eiffel Tower in Paris has a very particular image to it. When people who go to see the Eiffel Tower do so for very particular reasons and have a very particular point of view about the place, which is much different than the people who go to the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas. Structurally, these have similar shapes. The surroundings are drastically different, yes, and that changes the meaning of each place, but one of the largest factors is the different people who go there. There's a different group of people who will go to Vegas, i.e. people who like gambling and such, as opposed to people who will go to Paris, France. And as a result, these places get interpreted differently. Let me give you an example of a place from my own particular perspective. I'm a musician. I've been playing in the area music scene for a long time now. I have played in multiple plan bands. I played in multiple bands. I've played solo. I've played uh, lots of different gigs and places. I have multiple albums out. Now, am I successful? Of course not. Am I rolling in the money? No way. Do people even know who I am? Eh, kind of doubtful. But my, for the purposes of this video, my position as a musician means there are certain places that have different meaning to me that I use differently than just the average person. Take the places that I play. Howard's Club H is a bar in Bowling Green, Ohio that's been around for a long time. You see, we're 90 plus years open. Originally started as a sandwich shop, interestingly enough. But in terms of indie music venues, Howard's is traditionally a very important one for the area. It was a big blues venue back in the 50s and 60s. A lot of 90s alternative bands came by who came to this area would play at Howard's. Kid Rock's played there, the White Stripes have played there, any number of people who you might have heard of or your parents might have heard of have played at Howard's. I've played there. Because I played at Howard's, I think of Howard's differently than somebody who's just going to drink there. As a musician, it's a place of employment for me. It's a venue for free expression. Is it a venue for free expression for these people? Is it a place of employment? Or is it just a place to get schnockered and maybe hear some tunes? Because I come from a different background, than a lot of these people because I use this place for a different purpose it has a completely different meaning and that's the kind of thing that you're going to analyze in the profile essay you are going to make an argument analyzing how a specific group uses a specific place or location full details as always are on the major assignment sheet so check your specific copy for the correct due dates and any further information but place is something pick up a specific place, and how is meaning made there? We know place is important because we go to a lot of places, and we, while well, I mean, we might not think of places as being a subject of analysis, we know that they can 
act differently depending on where you go. I'm a musician. Guitar stores are different for me than most stores are for other people. A music store is going to be a place where musicians not only go to buy stuff, but also go to try stuff out, to hang out. It can be a community center in a way. You want to uh, start a band? One idea is to leave a flyer at your local music store. Most stores won't encourage you to pick up stuff, try it out, and just explore possible products. If you go to, say, a makeup store, they might have small samples, but they're not going to encourage you to make a run of it. They're not going to encourage you to hang out in the store. Music stores tend to have a different level of customer interaction because of the group of people who are going there look at the place a very specific different way places can change meaning depending on time as well as depending on the people during the pandemic grocery stores were a drastically different place than they were before in the lockdown there were massive shortages you can see empty shelves for miles i could give you photos of the toilet paper aisle which was empty for months it was kind of madness the way people reacted and freaked out the pandemic and one of the places you can see that is at a grocery store but it doesn't take just a global pandemic for people to change their behavior and change their relationship to a place if you want another example has anyone ever hit an early black friday store sales Going to Black Friday sales, people treat stores in a completely different way than they normally would. I've never actually been there for the doorbuster opening the store sales, but one time I went into Target like about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. After all of the Black Friday sales madness had already died down, and I swear the place looked like a tornado went through it. If I was doing this paper myself, I could pick any number one of these examples. And it's how is a specific place used by a specific group. And if it's tied to a specific time, that's another way to focus it down. So, now it's your turn. What place are you going to pick as used by what group of people? What's the important motivating concept? This is what you should be focusing on in this essay. I know that seems like it's probably a new concept looking at places, but it's one that if you think back to your time during the lockdown, it's probably going to start to ring a lot of bells. Everywhere that you thought you knew when we were in the COVID lockdown turned out to be really different. Go to the grocery store and all of a sudden you got people doing mad dash rushes on toilet paper and treating it like an emergency triage. Uh, school was drastically different. It was closed down for most of us. So what we thought as being tied to a specific location ended up being tied to a virtual location. So this is stuff that you've dealt with in some way even if you haven't done it in an academic argument setting. Now, because this is a topic that you probably haven't done before, I did want to remind you that we do have a revision in this class. So you, if you're not happy with your final work, we can always talk. We can always uh, have you redo the paper. If you want to run your paper ideas past me, just hit me up via Remind, and I'm more than happy to talk to you about it and help you work towards a good subject. Good luck, and I will see you in the next video. See ya.